We will now do the responsive call to worship. As God called to Moses from the mountain, we are called to be God's people. As Jesus called to the disciples to climb with him to peak of another mountain, we are called to follow wherever he leads. As the disciples stood in awe at the sound of God's voice, Open in prayer. Holy One, Light of Light, God of all creation, long ago you showed yourself to the disciples in Jesus' transportation. His face glowing like a field of daffodils on a bright spring morning, shining us, around us, and through us, that the world may see your glory in faces of your people. Faces transfigured in the light of your love. Amen. The Gathering Hymn is on page 15, verses 1 and 4. Though we want to walk with Moses and see God's holy radiance, we strive to fit of our own desires, unable to perceive the presence of God's grace. While we want a world of justice and peace, we walk in wild unselfishness, unable to share God's loving kindness. Though we want to follow Jesus up the mountain, In the blazing light of God's grace, Jesus touches us, each, each of us, to say, Get up and do not be afraid. In the name of Christ, all is forgiven. Amen. We'll have the young ladies' trio sing for us now.
We will now do the scripture. First scripture is Luke 9 through 20. 928 through 36, you can find it in the Bible on page 867. Now about 80 days after these sayings, he took with him Peter and John and James and went up on the mountain to pray. And as he was praying, the appearance of his face was altered and his clothing became dazzled white. And behold, two men were t talking to him, Moses and Elijah. Who appeared in glory and spoke of his departure, which he was about to accomplish at Jerusalem. Now Peter and those who were with him were heavy with sleep, but when they became fully awake, they saw his glory and the two men who stood with him. And as the men were parting from him, Peter said to Jesus, Master, it is good that we are here. Let us make three tents one for you, and one for Moses, and one for Elijah. Not knowing what he said, as he was saying these things, a cloud came over the over and overshadowed them, and they were afraid as they entered the cloud. And a voice came out of the cloud saying, This is my son, my chosen one. Listen to him. And when the voice had spoken, Jesus was found alone, and they kept silent, and told no one in those days anything of what they had seen. The second one is Peter 1, 13 through 18, Pew Bible 1018. I think it is right, as long as I am in this body, to stir you up by the way of a reminder, since I know that the putting of, off of my body will soon be our Lord Jesus Christ made clear to me. And I will make every effort so that after my departure you may be able at any time to recall these things. For we did not follow cleverly devised myths when we made these known to you, the power of coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. But we were eyewitnesses of his majesty. For when he received honor and glory from the God's Father and from the voice was borne to him by the majestic glory, this is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. We offer ourselves, heard this very voice born from heaven, for we were with him on the holy mountain. 